In our world lead, the national period of mourning has officially ended in the United Kingdom following the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. Her death has revived a series of criticisms of the monarchy. New Zealand, Australia, and several African nations are considering leaving the Commonwealth altogether. Even President Biden's late Irish mother, we should note, was an outspoken critic of the Queen. Then Vice President Biden told Veep writer Georgia Pritchett for her book that, quote, when his mother visited the UK, she had stayed in a hotel where the Queen had once stayed. She was so appalled that she slept on the floor all night rather than risk sleeping on a bed that the Queen had slept on, unquote. Then Vice President Biden also showed her poems that his mother wrote, quote, about her hatred of the English. But beyond those historical resentments, also hanging over the royal family's heads in the present day is Prince Andrew, whose ties to alleged sexual abuser Jeffrey Epstein and a sex abuse lawsuit against him of his own have him under intense scrutiny once again. We are now going to take a closer look at the allegations against him because even a prince cannot mourn his way out of a scandal. For some in the UK, Prince Andrew's pained loss of his mother, the Queen, does not let him off the hook for his close friendship with Jeffrey Epstein, an alleged sexual assault of a teenage girl. The prince may prefer to stay mostly out of the limelight as he grieves the loss of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, but the public appearances are bringing renewed public scrutiny of his relationship with underage sex trafficker and pedophile Jeffrey Epstein, which has been immeasurably difficult for his victims, according to Spencer Coven, who represents nine of Epstein's survivors. Telling us that while the victims he represents want the world to mourn for the queen, he says, quote, Andrew should not be able to rehabilitate his image through this tragedy. The only thing that will help the healing of his past conduct would be a full accounting of his past and sitting for an interview with U.S. authorities regarding his conduct. And then there are the specific allegations Andrew sexually assaulted an underage American girl, Virginia Jufre. She says she met the senior royal through his longtime friend Epstein. He knows what happened. I know what happened. And there's only one of us telling the truth, and I know that's me. The prince has denied these accusations. I can tell you categorically, I don't remember meeting her at all. I do not remember a photograph being taken. And I've said consistently and, um, and frequently that we never had any sort of sexual contact, whatever. The royal, Prince Andrew, rumored to have been the Queen's favorite, later paid an undisclosed amount to Jufre in a financial settlement. He was stripped of his military patronages and the use of His Royal Highness title. Still, Andrew remains eighth in line to the throne and has had a conspicuous role in the funerary ceremonies. And he is an official, quote, counselor of state, meaning he could temporarily fill in for King Charles III if necessary. Calling the late queen, quote, dear mummy, mother, your majesty, three in one, in a statement, adding, quote, mummy, your love for a son, your compassion, your care, your confidence, I will treasure forever. Following the payment to his accuser, the prince claimed in a statement he would help U.S. officials in their investigation of Epstein. Of course I am willing to help any appropriate law enforcement agency with their investigations if required, he said. But it appears the prince was actually less than willing. The former top U.S. prosecutor on that case, Jeff Berman, told me that Prince Andrew was uncooperative, to say the least. What we wanted was the information. He said he was willing to give it to us. He didn't give it to us. He stonewalled us. And as of the day I left... He was stonewalling. Berman revealing to CNN that he got nowhere with the palace or the UK government in his efforts to talk to the prince. His lawyers gave us the runaround. We even filed an MLAT request, which was an official request to interview a foreign witness with the government officials in the UK, and that got stonewalled. And now it seems even less likely that Prince Andrew will ever be held to keep his promise, leaving those seeking justice to wonder, what else officials could learn about Jeffrey Epstein and his perverse circle of associates?